you shouldn't use probiotics if you have SIBO. This could not be further from the truth. Now, there are some cases in healthcare wherein we don't have ample data to answer a question. Fine. This is an area where we have more than ample data to answer the question. So we really have to update our thinking. And this is a seminal paper amongst a handful, a growing actually handful, two handfuls <laughs> that supports this. So this is a clinical trial, 48 SIBO patients with diarrheal IBS. They received either dietary advice or dietary advice plus Saccharomyces boulardii probiotic. After two weeks, only two weeks, what a short intervention period. The group receiving the addition of the probiotic experienced greater improvements in diarrhea, in IBS symptoms, and a greater improvement or reduction in their SIBO gas levels, leading to these two comments from the researchers. The safety of SB, Saccharomyces boulardii, was excellent. So there goes the, well, you, you, you can't use it if you have SIBO. These people had SIBO, they did great, and the researchers comment the safety was excellent. Continuing. Conclusion. In patients with SIBO, Saccharomyces boulardii, along with dietary advice, reduced bacterial overgrowth and improved digestive symptoms while restoring the intestinal microbiota. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better series of findings or comments for those with SIBO. So if you or someone you love has SIBO, please share this study with them because there's so much fear in some with SIBO. And interestingly, but uh, I guess it makes sense, there is a higher incidence of anxiety reported in those with IBS and in those with SIBO. So combine that baseline characteristic along with some of what you read on the internet is kind of doom and gloom fear mongery that probiotics should be avoided with SIBO. And you can see how people get very afraid of probiotics and can't just take a deep breath, look at the evidence and make an evidence guided decision. <music>